Hey everyone, welcome to Twin Flames IRL. My name is Shalia, and welcome to our show. Um, Jeff is with a client right now, and I'm just rolling, so here we go. Um, so, uh, this has been um, a question that's uh, approached me and Jeff quite a bit lately. And um, it's really, really important that we get this fact straight. And I hope that this video reaches many, many people to set, um, to set the record straight. So, here it is. You do not um, have to be special in any way to get into your Twin Flame Union. Um, you know, there's a lot of people who think that you have to reach some kind of level of perfection in order to be in your Twin Flame Union, um, but that's absolutely not true. Uh, <laughs> getting into your Twin Flame Union is not a result of, um, it's, not, it's not a reward. It, you don't get it for being a reward. Like, oh, I reached some high spiritual state and now I receive my Twin Flame. Woo! Here he is manifested or here she is for me. No, that's not how it works. And there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people that um, I notice are creating their twin flame business off of the precipice of you having to be something or someone other than who and what you are in order to get into your twin flame union. Like um, you don't have to meditate. You don't have to like change your diet. You don't have to change um, the way that you dress or change the way how you act or behave. You don't have to change anything about yourself. Like um, nothing inside me has actually changed since like even 10 days before uh, meeting Jeff online. That's where we originally met. Like I'm, I'm still the same person that I was then. But uh, here's the difference is that I was focused on manifesting my twin flame. That's it. It didn't... He did not come to me as a reward for like good behavior or um, achieving some high level of ascension or like you know spiritual state of being. That's not true at all. Um, it was a result of my manifesting. That was it. You know, even some uh, asshole down the street that um, you just can't stand can get into their twin flame union. Um, because that's what they've been manifesting. Same with a lot of people who like become millionaires and billionaires. It's not because they're good people, it's because that's what they're manifesting and they know how to manifest it. Just like how Jeff and I um, knew how to manifest our twin flame and we know how to help other people manifest their twin flames. That's what we're in the business of. So, you know, this basically comes down to knowing how to manifest. It's, it's really about the law of attraction. That's, in a nutshell, you know, in a very, <laughs> in a nutshell, that's really what it's all about, is um, knowing exactly how to manifest your ultimate lover, your twin flame. And a big portion of that is removing all the blocks and barriers inside of yourself to your twin flame union, because your job is to raise your vibration to the frequency or the vibration of your twin flame union. That's all it really is. And there's a lot of um, people out there who are really good at explaining um, the law of attraction. A lot of us first heard about it through The Secret. Um, but, you know, Jeff and I are specifically trained to help you manifest your twin flame via the law of attraction. So, this is really um, something that I've been pondering about for a little while, um, and I hope that you understand, um, hearing it from my mouth, that um, I, I didn't have to like sit on some spiritual high throne and like um, chant mantras and do my mudras and my yoga and like um, go on like a vegan diet to attract my twin flame. It, that's not what that's about. It was about um, raising my frequency to the vibration of my true twin flame union 
and working on loving myself. Honestly, that's the biggest piece. Knowing that uh, I am loving and that I am lovable and that I am worthy of giving and receiving love. And the love list really, really helped a lot for me. I talk about this um, in our book, Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. And we also talk about this in our um, course to help you attract your twin flame, uh, Twin Flames Dreams Coming True. The love list was really, really essential component for me to get clear about who my twin flame is. Because in my heart of hearts, just like in your heart of hearts, you already know who your twin flame is. You know the qualities. You know how he or she feels. It's not about looks. Get, get over this. <laughs> get over this. It's about here. You will only know your twin flame by how you feel inside, in your heart, not by how he or she looks. That's, um, that's how a lot of us end up getting confused and remaining in uh, false twin flame unions and relationships that aren't serving us because we have a fixed idea um, of who our twin flame is. And a lot of us know um, maybe not consciously, but we know who our twin flame is, but we have a prejudice or a bias against them saying, no, no, that can't be them. That's not them. Shit, that, that can't be my twin flame. You know, I did the exact same thing with, um, well, Jeff and I did that together. We were introduced on Facebook through a mutual friend and we never talked to each other. We didn't talk to each other for like a year because I looked at his program and I'm like, he's a slut, <laughs> you know, like, he's the womanizer, like, he's sexy, he's, like, projecting his sexual energy, and, uh, that's not my man, I don't like that, that's not what I'm looking for, <laughs> and, you know, Jeff created that, uh, his Facebook pro profile at the time to attract his woman, to attract his ultimate lover, and, um, but, you know, he looked at my profile and said, yeah, she's cute, but uh, it can't be her. You know, I need a blonde with blue eyes who has like a Baywatch body, who, you know, does fucking flips and kicks, whatever, you know. Um, but he was looking on the outside. He wasn't actually looking on the inside. And neither was I. I wasn't looking on the inside. I was looking on the outside. And so, in a sense, we kind of like f missed each other. We are like, right there and but woo, look at that oh, see it's a little hard we came back I can't do it whatever but you know a year later when we cleared these blocks and barriers inside of ourselves my god we could finally see each other we saw each other I'm sorry but this this doesn't make a, it a huge spiritual achievement it just means we had a revelation and we loved ourselves enough to say yes to each other and to um, see each other through our hearts as opposed to our eyes and our heads. And, you know, as you can see, now we're happily married and we're doing our life purpose together. And we are building a beautiful home together. We're getting a puppy and like uh, our perfect puppy in like a week, week and a half. And um, we're... I'm gonna probably start a family in the next year or so. So, yeah, you know, I can't imagine if I still held on to my prejudice or bias, like, about Jeff, like, where I'd be today. I <laughs> probably wouldn't be as happy as I am now, that's for sure, guaranteed. So, um, I hope this clears up this misunderstanding that uh, you don't have to be... Um, this, uh, you don't have to carry this image of what perfection is about yourself in order to have your twin flame. You don't have to be, you're not a special person in, if you're in your union. I'm not any more special than you. I'm absolutely and unequivocally your equal uh, in spiritual truth because we're all children of God. That what I have, you can have, because it's for you too. God created you with the twin flame. You wouldn't be watching this video if it were not absolutely true. So, if you're interested in getting into your harmonious twin flame union, remember that it is possible, and if you desire it, 
um, you will have it. And there are ways to speed up the um, manifesting process and Jeff and I have uh, assisted in that process through our book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. This is all in the links below. Or you can work with us personally. We do 15 minute free consultations if you're a serious inquiry um, to do Twin Flame coaching to get into your harmonious union. And that's a really fun and awesome process. And we have uh, clients already who are um, into their union and we're helping them to completely harmonize fully into their union. There's one thing getting into your union, but there's a whole other thing about harmonizing. <laughs> it took Jeff and I about six to nine months of harmonizing into our union after we were together. And um, we, if you work with us, um, you can quicken that harmonization process because it's not fun <laughs> doing it the long way, I can tell you that. <laughs> but it is absolutely rewarding and it's beautiful work. So I hope this answers your question. Thanks so much for joining me on Twin Flames IRL. Click like and subscribe and we'll see you in other videos. Ciao.